Hello, I'm getting ready to do a uh, event cover for the back of my smoker. So I'll be able to uh, open and close how much smoke I want to come out. And I'm counting this as a one beer uh, mod. So come along, see, uh, see how this goes. Thanks. This modification has basically four parts. This is sort of the uh, track for it, as well as uh, the mounting uh, piece that will hold everything in its location. There's a spacer piece, and if you look, there's more of a gap on this side, a little less of a gap on this side, the little less of a gap goes up. And if you look, it fits right between these two uh, hood caps. So it's a spacer for this. So you put this piece first, then you put the track in second. And then uh, on top of that, then you will actually have the actual vents themselves. And when I get to putting those in, you'll see how that works. So all I need to do now is mark where I'm gonna drill the holes. So the ends of these are on an angle, which fits along here. So I'm kind of just eyeballing it up here. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my thumb through it like this so that I can actually feel where the vent is. So that I'm making sure that I'm at least centered to my vents. So you might want to consider that if you're going to do it. So meanwhile, this is so well built that everything is lining up exactly. So I'm going to walk my hands in here to the center to hold it, break out my pin, and mark these holes. Well, I would think that was the hard part. Now to see if I can actually see them. Alrighty. Now, I could use the electric screwdriver to drive in the screws and then try to work with a mechanical torque. But I find that I've, this is much better for me. Some things I like to do old fashioned. So. Looking at this, there's also a felt piece that's going to go on the lower part here. And that will sort of help seal this all in. So let me kind of line up my spacer. And I will put a starter screw for one end. These are self-tapping, and I'm trying to push on the grill without it moving across the deck. There we go. It's going to be a lot easier when I use my other hand to keep the grill from moving. back and this is going to get turned 180 degrees and over into that corner where there's sort of a cutout for it and that will be this side here will be exposed to the weather and I'm looking at the idea that uh, 
we do get some sideways rain depending on which storm is coming through. And I wouldn't mind uh, being able to just close the vent with the uh, cast iron grates in there. I don't want to build up any rust. So being able to close the vent is important. So I'm going to say 80%. That's the reason why I'm putting this on there. Uh, when it gets to be really winter, you know, where I don't want to come out here and do any cooking, I do have a cover for it. So that's going to take care of things right there. But uh, winters aren't severe, you know, so I mean, they can last two, three days. You may not have a cover on it, but then you come out and do some cooking. So that's where I'm really counting on this doing its job. So now I'm going to take these to snug. Snug. The spacer is perfect for this. The uh, the trim piece here and stuff. There's no warping, no pinching. So I like it when things are built and manufactured to where it's not really a kit where you have to make a bunch of adjustments to it, but rather you just take it out of the box and put it on what you're intending to use it for. So I'm finding that a big plus. So 80% trying to keep the water out and 20% being able to uh, choke it down. Hope that jet isn't making too much noise. Uh, being able to choke it down and maybe give it, keep a little more smoke inside the grill. This might even come in play when I'm using uh, uh, a rotisserie, so we'll see how that goes. We're familiar with blades, so that seems to be what this is. see any markings on here telling me which way to put these. So let me just see what happens if I put it on the other way. Yeah, I think, I think, I'm glad I just did that. The end piece here, probably important to let you see it, is that there's a, a little piece that's a little longer. I'm assuming that's the one that goes in the back. And there's one here for the one in front. So I'm going to consider this the way to do it. It just seems to make sense. And now for the grill part, you know, the opening the vent. I would be able to open it up to there and have the ability to close off like that, so it's all pretty self-explanatory. I like it. So closed, keeps the rain out, open, full smoke. Well, I imagine if I want a full smoke, I just pull it off, you know, as far as venting goes. But So I'll just go with uh, max open in that position. Now to put some coal in here and watch the smoke. So that's what I'm going to do next. Uh, shutter is closed at the moment. And actually I'm getting more smoke coming out of my uh, drip fan. Uh, because with this being closed, it's forcing it all the way down to the bottom. So I'm getting a whole chamber full of smoke and it's pushing it. That's, that's interesting. That means I can actually create heavier smoke. But anyway, so let me open the valve here, or the vent, and you should be able to see that's allowing a lot of smoke to come out. And if I take it to where it's uh, only about a half a vent, it should make the smoke inside the grill a little more intense. 
it's still blowing out of there, but it's actually it's actually coming out with some force now, which is kind of neat. That's the uh, the fan pressurizing the inside of the hood. Wow. So back to full open. And of course, if I wanted to, I can just pull them off all together, and it's just the way it was before I put these in. So when I want it to breathe, nothing stops it. And if I put my rain blades back in, that's full closed. And it just makes the smoke come out of all the hinge areas and down on the drip pan area. It's just forcing it to fill up that whole chamber. pretty amazing. Let me move this. Maybe you can see it a little better sideways here. Let me move them all to remove them completely. And you can see it's still doing exactly what it's always done. It just throws it out there. Fully closed. And in place and fully open. So it's about half with the uh, little windows from them actually not being there or in there. Interesting. Well, I'll take it. And looking at my beer, it was only a half a beer job. So that went really quick. That Lazari wood, that lump coal, it really, it's a smoking wood. It really, uh, it really does its job. So it's just regular lumps. Pretty nice stuff. Back to fully closed. Pretty much fully opened. So the 560 guys have had a, a mod that allows them to control their vent and it looks like now there's one for us on the 1050s to some of my cooks. Well, I wanted you to come along and see the install. So at this point, I thank you very much. Hope that uh, you found this interesting. And any information of where I got this will be in the description area. Uh, look for Nathan and that should take care of it. Have a good day.